shells and the bondage pants and Brian's yellow shirt with black polka dots, which, which was my father's. We gave it to him for his birthday in 1969. She wore, she and I wore it. And Victor, Brian said, oh. That was her dad's old shirt. She wore it to work that night, and I liked it better than the shirt I was wearing for the scene. I said, let me wear that shirt. It's still in my pocket. I should have worn it. See, I'm, I'm watching the scene going, wow, that's so brilliant that they Boz Davidson matched the color of the car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your, your dad's. Yeah, my dad. So, but I have to tell you that the stars, the makeup, the purple, the, if you look at the hookers, airbrushed eyeshadow. That was Richard Arrington who killed himself um, about five years after that movie. I did another movie with him and he, I don't know why, but he, he, but he was the biggest perfectionist as far as makeup and hair went. And I just wanted to say that's who did the stars and that's who did everything. With this role and as with um, in the roles I've seen, you know your other roles, I thought you did a really wonderful job of bringing, I mean, you know, in a comedy in those dramatic moments, bringing great, bring great comic relief. It wasn't. See, the, the two things that I'm known for, the two things that I've been in that were good in my whole career, <laughs> was Twin Peaks and Virgin, and that both of them was the, the director being observant and watching me and thinking something was neat and saying, can you do what you were doing 10 minutes ago? And that, since I suck at everything else, when people, you know, when people write me, write stuff and I try to read it, I'm not that great at it. But the point is, is Boaz was this cool guy who would watch, and I never saw him in popsicles either, and I'd love to see it. And he would, he would pick out of people what was really obviously great on the film, on the screen, that we didn't know was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I have to tell a really fast story of how I got, because I, the first time I ever acted in my life, besides the audition, was when I come into the party scene with the hair. And the, I, I was a ballet dancer and I, I got a job with this company who, went to, I think, Israel on a tour and didn't take me because I was new. So I was working in the office trying to type shit and answer the phones, and the agent of the ballet company was a real agent, and she said, you have to be an actor. I said, no, I hate actors. They all wear patchouli oil and, have and say,